Hey fellow collectors, today we'll be taking a look at Marvel Studios Marvel Legends Warrior Gamora from the What If TV show. And as we can see here, we have Gamora here with holding her Thanos style weapon. We have some artwork from the TV show itself. And on the back, we have the product shot, the figure part that she comes with, some words. And on the side, we can see the Hydra Stomper here. All the part comes with and the characters that it comes with. So instead of pictures, we have words now. So let's get this gal out of the box and see how cool she is. Okay, now that we have her out of the box, we'll take a look at her accessories. She comes with this armored fisted hand and the arm of the Hydro Stomper. And it's weird because it, it appears to be the right arm, but I have two left arms. Is that a thing? <laughs> or am I just have it rotate around wrong? There we go. Okay. I need some more coffee. So we see her bladed weapon that she comes with. Nicely detailed. And this looks like um, the one that the Thanos had. So, right out of the box, these ankles are a little hard to position on mine. So I had to get a stand to have it. Either she's this far up or this far forward. They're not allowing just a, a standard. So you'd have to bend at her knee to get her to do that. <sighs> anyway, so as we look at the character herself, the figure... We see all this nice painted sculpture on here. The hair is a two tones like she had in the movie. And I'm not seeing the TV show yet, so I'm waiting for the full line to come out before I watch it. Now she does have these shoulder pads and this armor that does prevent her from doing a T-pose. So that's far if the arms can go up. She does have forward and backward movement. You can get it to rotate around since it doesn't rotate all the way up. She does have a bicep swivel and a double bend in the elbow so she can wave at you or comb back her hair. Now her hand does uh, rotate as well as swivels back and forth. Her ab crunch here and she has no waist swivel because of the outfit. She has this rubber tunic here. And skirt but as far as split goes she can do that much and pretty good forward and back now she does have a upper thigh swivel as well as a double bend in the knee now her ankles are on a ball joint and it is this weird boot here and this foot now you can see here mine only let you go so far. So if I'm doing straight, her legs, you have to bend the knee to get her to stand straight. So she is six and a quarter inches. So that means she will fall in line with Modern Bar Legends and fall in line with G.I. Joe. She will be smaller than DC Multiverse figures, as would be expected. Now, as far as the character goes herself, if I can get it to turn on, I guess my battery's getting low. With all the accessories she comes with, she comes in at 3.8 ounces. So on this thoughts of this figure, yeah, if you don't have a Gamora, um, then the what if version might be an alternative for you. I do not have the version from Marvel um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I do have uh, Volume 1. I'm going to review in a little while. 
But until then, remember, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.